All right, guys, so this video is pretty much for uh, those of you that are a little scared to cut your vishlas or your dog's nails. Because to be honest with you, I've been because I'm scared to, you know, cut them or something like that. So before I was just using this uh, little nail grinder. Um, so instead of cutting, I would use this, but this, re this really doesn't. Um, shave or it takes a long time to actually cut it so what I did was I bought this which this is the best way to do it um, it could be a little scary because you're probably scared to cut the vishless nails but um, after you do it the first time trust me it's not as bad as it might seem um, as you can see vishless nails Kobe hold on Vishla Kobe relax no. relax Give me vishless nails they grow they grow a lot um they that's what they say vishless have cat like paws because their nails grow very very long as you guys can see here look how long kobe's nails are which again they're due to be cut and today i'm going to demonstrate to you guys what i do right kobe to cut his nails kobe's not a huge fan but he's uh he's comfortable now um, now, and to make your Vishla comfortable or your dog comfortable to get his nails clipped, first time, first thing you want to do is, I mean, Kobe's already used to this, so he already knows what that is. It's not the first time. Um, introduce your dog or Vishla to it, you know, so they can, not nah, no biting, Kobe. That's not, that's not a toy. So they know, you know, they feel comfortable around it, you know, so it's not something that they, is, is something that might scare them or anything like that. Leave it, Kobe. All right? Good boy. And so Kobe's already comfortable around this, so he already knows that when I grab this, it's time to cut his nails. So I'm going to show you guys now how I do it, and hopefully it helps those of you that have been wanting to do it or haven't done it, or maybe you're paying somebody else to do it for you. Um, don't be scared. I was a little bit at first, and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Right, Kobe? Ready to go? Give me Paul. Come on. You ready? All right, let's do this. All right, guys, so the trick with this is you never want to cut a big piece. You always want to cut, you always want to start cutting small pieces first, and then you pretty much just work your way through. And the trick with the nail is when you see a little black dot, which right now you're not going to be able to see the little black dot on Kobe's nails because they're long, but we're going to work our way down to when we see a little black dot, that pretty much lets us know that it's time to stop, all right? So we're gonna start with small pieces first. Also, you always wanna hold the, the clip this way. All right? Not this way, because it just moves a lot. When you hold it this way, it's a much more comfortable, and that way you don't risk of cutting more than what you're trying to cut. So, all right, Kobe, let's do this. So we cut little by little, little by little here, and you just keep cutting. Kobe, no, no licking, no licking. Kobe, no. Kobe, no. Good boy. Good boy. You just keep cutting small pieces. Again, the trick is not to cut too big of pieces. And again, um, once you do it a couple times, um, you get more comfortable doing it. At first, I was a little skeptical. I was a little scared to cut, you know, too much and maybe cut Kobe. Um, and that's one of the things I was scared of. But after you do it a couple times, it's not as bad as it looks, guys. Trust me. So, now, if you can see here, Anthony, you can start seeing the little black dot start to show up. That little thing lets you know that you're getting close to um the amount that you can cut so i'm going to cut maybe one more time there and that nail is pretty much good to go all right so we're going to cut here all right kobe hold on buddy you're being good you're being kobe if you lean on me i'm not going to be able to cut this there you go all right so that pretty much that little dot there lets me know that's enough so now what i do is so the nail doesn't stay rough around those edges because it they're actually pretty sharp so if he jumps on you or anything like that that can scratch you pretty bad so what i do is to finish it off 
is with the little grinder, I pretty much just grind it around, kind of round it off a little bit. You know, shape it off. You can actually do this all the way around. That way those edges are not sharp. Nice rounded off edges. In case he jumps on you or anything like that, which they shouldn't be jumping on you. That's the first thing, but in case they do, they have their moments where they get a little excited. You don't want them to scratch you. So that's what that's for. So that's pretty much it, guys. Right there, that nail's done. Again, the little black dot, that's the key part. When you get to that little black dot, that means you cut enough. All right, and I'm going to do this for the rest of the nails, and, and we should be good. Guys, so just in case you didn't see it before, um, I, I guess right there you can see the little black dot in, in the nail. That's pretty much where, that's your sign that that's enough cutting, no more cutting right there. And again, once you just want to cut little by little, and when you get to that, you see that, that means it's enough. So again, it's very, very simple. Very, very easy. And Kobe's nice and calm. I mean, he's being such a good boy. Kobe's always a good boy. Anything we, we do with him, he always behaves great. Right, bud? All right, guys. So now I'm doing pretty much his back legs. As you can, Kobe, relax. Don't get too close. I don't want to cut your face. Um, you can see Kobe's uh, very comfortable. When I do, so you can see there. See that little black spot? That means it's time to stop. And I continue this with all his uh, nails. As you can see, what I do at the end, like I showed you guys before, just grind the edges because the edges become very, very sharp. Um, this makes it nice and round. So you know, he doesn't scratch nobody. So as you can see guys, it's not that bad. Once you do it, the first time might be a little scary if you've never done it before, but um, this is something that has to be done. Beachless nails, they grow very fast and very long. So definitely want to stay on top of it. You don't want to risk a, the nail being too long and they break their nail or end up you having to take them to the emergency vet visit because their nails were too long and they ended up breaking breaking their nail and it makes the matters worse. All right guys. Good to All right guys, thank you guys again for watching the video. If you haven't already done so, comment, like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, that way next time I upload a video, you guys are notified. And just a quick look at Kobe's nails again. Uh, take a look at that. Nice and cut. And that's how they're supposed to look. Thank you guys for tuning in. And God bless.